Assalamualaikum. Nama saya Muhammad Khairul Nizam bin Muhammad Luki. Panggil je saya Nizam. Nama saya Ryan bin Muhammad Luki. Saya di kelas AS 24.4 itu. Hai, nama saya Nur Ilana Rikmah bin Tebullah. Panggil Eliana. Hai, saya Syekh Nurman Hakimi daripada AS 24.4. Hai, saya Nur Uyun bin Tirahimi. Kami dari kelas AS 24.4 itu akan membentangkan hasil kajian kami berkenaan food microbiology. Bacteria, molds and yeast can cause food spoilage. They thrive if environmental conditions are right. Common sources of microorganisms which cause food to spoil are the air, soil, sewage and animal waste. Microorganisms that can be harmful to humans live in many of the animals we consume. Meat must be cooked or otherwise preserved to kill them off. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention in the United States, the most common cause of intestinal infection in the world is the bacteria Campylobacter. It thrives in the digestive tracts of chickens, and most raw chicken contains it, which means that any drop of raw chicken juice that somehow makes it into your mouth could make you very ill. In the US alone, nearly two and a half million people suffer infection from Campylobacter every year. 
If food is exposed to the air for a certain period, oxygen will allow some microorganisms to grow. Oxygen affects food in other ways too. It can work with enzymes to cause spoilage and it causes oxidation, an example of which is seen in the browning of fresh fruit. Other environmental causes of spoilage include temperature, light, moisture and pest infestation. Many foods require refrigeration at temperatures of 5 degrees Celsius or less. Emmanuel, who runs Carina Kitchen, preserves foods using only natural preservatives and sells them direct to consumers. He stresses the need for correct storage with all perishable products. We find the biggest spoilage is sometimes in the fridge, people put a lot of stuff in the door in the fridge where it's not as cold as in the back of the fridge. So uh, we do a, a jam which is um, totally sugar free, so we, aren't, we don't use any preservatives in that at all. That must be kept in the coldest part of the fridge, otherwise it'll go off in a couple of days. Light may cause photodegradation in some foods. The food's pigments, fats, proteins and vitamins can be damaged by exposure to light. Food can also become discoloured, lose its flavour and nutritional value, all of which makes it unattractive to consumers. Moisture can lead to microorganism growth and allow different chemical reactions to occur on and in food products, causing damage to the food and potential illness for those eating it. Pest infestation can cause widespread food spoilage, particularly where large areas of crops are grown and stored. Pests can also cause degradation in animals that are farmed for their meat. Buddy, you're a young man, dumb man, careless, and you're gonna make someone quite sick someday. You got spores on your plate, they'll incubate. There's trouble if you cross-contaminate. Microbes, they might kill you. Microbes, they might kill you. Toiling with the fast food, bad mood, careless, it don't matter if those burgers stay pink inside. Serving up a storm with cold of form, oh and five sevens deadly if it don't get warm. Microbes, they might kill you. Microbes, they might kill you. 
singing microbes they might kill you